The lights are on and it's time to review another treehouse beer. Hey aficionados, Sean here with Lights On from Treehouse. This one is an American Pale Ale at 5.6% ABV. This one has eluded me up until this point. I was able to make a trip out to the brewery. They happen to have some cans available. Finally excited to try this one out. I mean, you guys know how I feel about Treehouse beer, so let's get into this one. Yep, so pretty classic Treehouse character to this one. That tropical juiciness, that bubblegum tropical yeasty character as well. Lots of guava, passion fruit, and a mango-y, papaya-like character. A little bit of sweet citrus in there too. Pretty prominent orange, like a sweet orange, a little bit zesty. Behind that, get a hint of a dank character, some clean piney hops as well. Maybe some of the crackery, bready malt peering through, but again, really classic treehouse character. Very juicy, very tropical. Cheers. Oh man, that is really good. It just kind of feels like a lighter version of a treehouse IPA or a treehouse hoppy beer. You're getting a lot of the same classic treehouse characteristics you get. Again, that juicy tropical character, the yeasty notes of that, that bubblegum character, like a tropical gum note, really strong in this one. Again, in terms of the tropical notes, I'm getting some guava coming through, uh, more papaya than mango. I would say, as well as the passion fruit that I mentioned, just very juicy, a little bit sweet, but it has this dry character to it as well, really sessionable, fluffy mouthfeel, a little bit creamy, but not as creamy as your typical Treehouse IPA. It's a little bit thinner, but that's to be expected for a pale ale. Getting more of that sweet, orangey, citrus character in this one. Again, a little bit zesty, but like a nice sweet orange peel. A little bit juicy as well. Really clean, doughy malt backbone to this one. On the back end, getting more of that clean piney character. Not as much of the dankness coming through. Maybe hints of grass or maybe slight herbal character. But just much more towards like a just a nice clean pininess on the back end of the beer. Again, very drying towards the finish. On the finish, you're getting a linger of a little bit of pithy citrus some of that pine character as well, but not a ton of character lingering on the palate. All right, so for my final thoughts on Lights On from Treehouse, this one's going to get an A plus for me. I would say I prefer this one slightly to Fort Point from Trillium. It's just really, really good and really sessionable as well. If this thing was more easily available, I would drink a ton of this stuff during the summer. In terms of Treehouse beers, it's not exactly the first one that would come to my mind if I was trying to trade for them, but I mean, you can't go wrong with any of their beers for the most part, and if you love pale ales, I don't think it gets much better than this one, so check it out if you can get your hands on it. Have you guys tried Lights On Pale Ale? What do you think of it? And what's your favorite pale ale? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching.